Hey, what's going on? Welcome back. So, Will Smith has uh, made his return to the public. Uh, he dropped the YouTube, dropped the video on his uh, personal YouTube page. Uh, made in the format as you know, if it was answering questions, but of course it was, uh, it was to address the whole elephant in the room, the. Uh, the Chris Rock situation, the slap incident. And so basically in the video, you know, he's apologizing and, you know, acknowledging the people that he hurt, the relationships that he severed, you know, within the Rock family. Uh, and, you know, just one of those things. One of those things, man, you got to, you know, a lot of people have responses to it. Some people, you know, they they all for it. I personally, I've never had a problem with Will Smith. Uh, I, I don't get caught up into the, you know, the whole code of personality with celebrities and shit like that. But, you know, from the surface level, he's always, you know, uh, presenting himself as a, you know, a good guy. Who knows what type of shit goes on behind the scenes in Hollywood, right? Uh, but, you know, he positions himself as a good guy. Um, he had a terrible, you know, on the surface. Like I said, we're dealing with all this from the surface level. All of this shit, all, it all could have been a production or whatnot. But from the surface level, it was a, a, a bad lapse of judgment right there that night. <coughs> uh, what needed to be acknowledged is, you know, the precedent. Because people are bought in into the whole code of personality, uh, the effect. And how people receive that and how they feel, you know, uh, justified in doing those behaviors like that. And I hope that's something that's acknowledged and understood, uh, understood by him. Now, like I said, you know, it happened then. I think somebody asked him, why didn't he apologize uh, at the acceptance speech after he did what he did and slapped Chris Rock? Because he probably felt justified. He said shit was cloudy. Man, reality is he probably and I like I said I can't tell I can't I can't say how the man felt or what went on in his mind, but he probably felt justified. He probably felt it was the right thing to do as you you saw a lot of responses. From Tiffany Haddish and a lot of the people in the public, a lot of women and men too. I'm not even just going to put it on women. Matter of fact, yeah, let me not put it all on women cuz yeah, it was a it was a mixture, you know, some people saying then Hell nah, you ain't supposed to react like that. But you had a lot of motherfuckers talking about, yeah, that was the right thing to do. And, you know, saying, oh, if you don't react to stuff like that, you're not a man. There's men and women talking like this, right? But you got to think of the the residual effects that it has on society. You know, people who look up, you know, a lot of people, like I said, they're caught into the culture personality. So they look up to these celebrities, these entertainers and shit like that. And they think, you know, they feel justified. You know, they see them take a certain action. They think that's what they can do in their life. Because, you know, why not? They're successful. They made it to where they're at. And they have a certain mindset that they have. Uh, as far as apology, you know, like I said, who's to say if it's, you know, people talk about it's not real or whatnot. Who's to say if it's sincere or not? I, I felt it was, you know, a good gesture, the good thing to do. As men, you know, as, you know, as human beings, the only thing you can do is move on. Like I said, give your apology, extend the olive branch. It could get taken. It can uh, get accepted or not. But what you got to do is you, we move on in life. Uh, this is a, uh, fortunately, this is a situation where, you know, it it can be healed. And everybody's going about on about their business at the end of the day. Yeah, Will Smith's taking some hits. He got kicked out of the Oscars and all that bullshit. Their award show, whatever. But, you know, they're able to move on. Uh, and that's just what you do. You move on and you don't make the same mistake again. Don't make the same uh, same mistake again. But, you know, difference between we, Will Smith and a lot of people in everyday life and a lot of different news stories that you've seen since then. I mean, before and after that, I mean, we've always talked about this, but you know, I highlighted this. There's so many different news stories, uh, uh, uh and I'm t people do dudes getting killed. 
Rover trying to, you know, defend their girl's honor and shit like that. Like I've always said, man, the only thing, man, your only obligation is to defend your family and their life when their life is in immediate danger. Now, I understand people get mad with disrespect and shit like that. Yeah, that's understandable. But uh, but we already know this shit leads to more, to more pain. There's been countless, countless stories, man. Of dudes getting killed. Shit, you just, matter of fact, it was a national one. The dude who got stabbed up in the bodega. Sit up there because this girl, because this girl, you know, was mad. She couldn't get what she got with the food stamp card. And who knows what the, hey, them dudes at the, at the, at the shops, they can get disrespectful. Them dudes behind the counter, they can. Who knows what was said, but that ain't never no reason to go attack uh, the motherfucker. You can just stop patronizing them, stop giving them your business and move on with your life. But see what happened, you know, when got the dude and the dude feel like he got to stand up and be a man and, you know, posture for the female, and he, he ends up dying. <laughs> Think of the residual effect of that and all the family's grieving. And you'll never see him again. But there's been so many situations, even women getting killed, man. Think of all those club shootings and stuff like that. These start over fights. Fights. That's what you're advocating to go happen because ain't nobody, most motherfuckers ain't going to sit around. Uh, nine out of ten people ain't going to sit around and take it and slap like Chris Rock did, which was, you know, a, a big move of him. But most people ain't going to sit around and get slapped. It's going to turn into something different. And, you know, a lot of situations, especially, shit, especially with us, shit, that shit could go out of hand. And everybody getting hit, man. Everybody getting hit. Somebody take an L, somebody take a loss. Ain't nobody just taking losses like that. They going to get theirs, man. And they going to make everybody, everybody was sitting around laughing and, oh, ah, and, and egging it on. Everybody's going to feel it. That's how it goes. That's how it escalates. So these are the things that should be understood and, you know, highlighted and really need to be brought to the forefront. And I, I already said, you know, there, he said there was a lot of nuances and things that were he learned from it. He said he wasn't going to address it. I'm hoping that was one of the main nuances that he got from this is the, the precedent that this sets. Well, not precedent. I mean, shit, shit happens all the time. But, you know, the example that this sets for people who buy into the cult of personality and people who buy in and look up to these stars. So. I like Will Smith, man. And I'll continue. I'll watch whatever man else he got to. I like him as an actor. I'll watch whatever else he got, you know, he puts out. I hope he got some more material. I watch all of his movies, man. Hey, you know, I, I, I like Will Smith. Like I said, I don't know the fucking guy. I don't know his life behind the scenes. Been all type of rumors about to do whatever. Put on a fucking show. Entertain me. Give me some escapism in between my my uh, daily work life. You know what I'm saying? Give me some escapism. Give me something to be entertained by and that's what will smith's always provided man great you know great movies classic uh, sitcom man all of that uh, and like i said he's always positioned himself man as a, you know a very intelligent man uh very intelligent black man and i don't think this situation takes this situation doesn't take away uh doesn't take away from his mystique like i said people all type of people uh make mistakes it's not the worst thing when he went up slap somebody like on cut in front of this dumb, you know, fuck the Oscars. I don't give a fuck about none of that stuff. I'm just talking about the precedent. The only thing I worry about is the precedent that it sets. Nobody should have their hands put on because of words or insult. And especially, you know, when you decide to do that, what it can lead, what it can lead to. But there's a lot more villains out here. <laughs> people who you can, who are terrible fucking people. <laughs> Nobody, nobody's questioning, uh, asking, uh, who were the clients for Ghislaine Maxwell? Nobody's asking that. So I don't give a damn about what Will Smith, hey, live your life, Willie. Live your life, Willie. Earl. But yeah. So, uh. 
Let me know what you think in the comment section about, you know, everything I said, what you think. Maybe you can comment about the situation or whatnot. Hey, you know, have fun with it. Uh, let me know what you think in the comment section. It's the Grid Culture. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe. I'll y'all later.